So I'm going to explain the how to create a company within your existing account. Normally, if we see somewhere like so we cannot see any any link over here to add the new company. We can switch the company from one company to another company. If I click on the switch company that we can see the different companies which I have already created. I can switch from the their company to other company, but there is no any option available to add your companies. So today in this lecture, I will be just going to explain you how to how to do this one, how to create a company uh, within your existing account. Right, so how to do this one? I'll be going to explain it. So the first of all that we have this account, right? So this account I have, so RG Finance and Insurance, but I want to create new company and I don't find any options here. So first step is that what you can do, uh, you can sign out from here, right? So uh, sign out, right? So once you have sign out, now even then that you, you cannot find here any options for adding your new company. You can find a creative account, but not a new company. You cannot find it here. So for this one, what you need to do, you need to go to Google. In Google here that you need to write something. So what do you need to write? You need to write quick book. Online pricing. So QuickBook online pricing and you will find one link here. The QuickBook online pricing that you will find it here. OK, so you need to click on the QuickBook online pricing i think this is not the one right so you need to find out which one is related to the accounting yeah this is the right link sometime we go to the another link then we won't be able to make the uh, new company right so here plan and pricing compare features quickbook canada and you can see here quickbook.intuit.com and pricing here once you click on this link so you will find a number of links here so we need to pay for something, but we are not going to pay anything. We going we want to just use the trial version. So once you click on this free trial for 30 days, so you can have here plus advanced, essential and easy start. You click on the plus one, like try it free. So once you click on the try it free and continue with the free trial and the buy now. So click on the continue with the free trial. So once you click it, you will find one screen here. So here, what you need to do, you need to write here your existing account number or email ID, so which I have already created here. So once I just write it, and at the time when I click on the first name, so one, one message will appear. The message is, this user ID is already taken, right? So in this case, there are two options, sign in and recovery your account. So click on the sign in now. Once you click on sign in, then you will again find something like this. So start free trial. So click on start free trial. Once you click on start free trial, so here that the one password is required. So password for this one. The already you have an account and there will be some password. So you need to click, click it and you write the password here. So uh, the second way is that you can just use this uh, text verification code. So the mobile number that already you have set it, so you will find some something over there, like one code. So I have found this code. When I click on continue, right? So here, that is time to update your password. So it is showing that your new password that you need to write. Sometime it happened. So here that I'm just going to write here new password. OK, let's see. <clears throat> OK, so now uh, after this step, the screen will appear in front of you. So once that you will see that this screen is coming, it means like the first message you will see there. Welcome, we are glad you're here. And when you click on new and here is that what we want. What's your business name? So here I'm just going to write a business here. 
aren't you? New company. April. 27th. Okay, so I have just written the name of the company. Any name, whatever you want, you can write it. So not click this one, just next. And industry, let's say I'm just going to go for uh, the educational and sports services. Then click on next. Uh, this is what kind of business is this? And like a solo. Next. Then uh, owner. Next. Then I fly solo. Next, then uh, does a bookkeeper help with your books? Uh, no. So here that we find like uh, skip for now. Track the seat and expenses and next. And here we will find the one button on the right hand side. Skip for now. Right. So here also skip for now. So in this case, what happened? The last keep your receipts and maximize your deductions. Next, we are almost ready to dive in. So you will find here, let's go. Yeah, we find let's go. Now the company is created. So once this company is created, what do you need to do? You have gear icon on the right hand side here. Click on the gear icon and switch to the accountant view. Right. So this is the name of the company, RJ New Company Account 27. So you will find nothing here. Yeah, so this is desktop. This is the brand new fresh company. There is no any figure. Nothing is there. But if you would like to switch from the one company to another company is very easy. How to do this one? On the right hand side, you find the gear icon. Once you click on the gear icon, you can switch companies, right? So I have here, you can see RJ Online College, RJ New Company April 27 just created, right? So for example, I want to just shift to the RJ Online College. When I click on the RJ Online College, so you find this RJ Online College company that you can see. Again, if I want to go back to the another one that which I created now, see the RJ new company, April 27. So this that you, you will be able to find it easily. So this is how to create, how to create a, a new company within your existing account. Not only one, you can create a number of companies if you want.